Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time I am doing a video entry into a Blu-ray giveaway that Lylesburg711 is giving on his channel. He's got two Blu-rays that he's giving away and one of them is called Burying the X and it's a Blu-ray exclusive with a nice slip cover. That, actually, that's the one I'm interested in. And he's also giving away Mother's Day, which is a trauma release on Blu-ray. And uh, I actually own Mother's Day already, so uh, I thought it was really cool of uh, Chris to give videos away, and he's done this before. And this is why this guy is becoming so popular on YouTube, because he has uh, great content on his channel, and he's uh, very generous. He, he's already given away several things, and uh, he just recently um, sent to me a Blu-ray season of The Strain for uh, Season 1, a three-disc set, which is outstanding. And... Uh, He's asking one question and to, to enter into this uh, giveaway. He wants to know uh, which movie do you have in your collection that you think is underrated? And Chris, this was a tough one for me because uh, I started going through my collection and I pulled out about 15 to 20 titles. And uh, I know you don't have time to watch all that. So I did narrow it down to five. I hope you don't mind. I know um, in Chris's uh, entry, the rule was you just have to show one title. But I actually, um, I'm going to show five, and these are five films that I have that I think are underrated. And this first one here, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, I think this one is uh, incredibly underrated. I, I really love this movie. And this is the kind of movie that um, you have to watch it more than one time to really get a good appreciation for this film. The first time I watched it, I was kind of like, what the hell, you know? Uh, basically, the premise of the film is it's a... Uh, there's a serial killer named Leslie Vernon, and he dresses up in, in a, kind of a, a mask. And I don't know, like a here, let's see if you can see that in the back. He's got like some overalls and this kind of weird little getup that he, he uses. He goes out at night and, and butchers people. But he wants a documentary crew to follow him. So this is a documentary style horror film, and it's done really well. It has Zel Zelda Rubenstein is in here, Robert England has a small role. And even Scott Wilson, who played, um, uh, what was his name on, on the uh, Walking Dead? He was uh, Maggie Green's father, Herschel, Herschel Green. Sorry about that. I had a, a brain fart for a second. But yeah, he, he plays a pretty good role in this film as well. And uh, this is an Anchor Bay release here. This is a DVD release. But no matter if you get it, it does have a Blu-ray release by now. But no matter how you get this film, if you get it on DVD or, or Blu-ray, I do recommend picking this one up. And I do think this one is uh, underrated. I don't hear too many people talk about this. This is kind of a love it or hate it type film. And um, I think that's why a lot of people don't talk about it. Maybe a lot of people don't quite understand it or, or they don't get it. But I like the documentary style of this film. And it comes with a little uh, chapter menu, a little art card type thing. So that is uh, Behind the Mask. And um, I do recommend grabbing that one. The next one also has a Blu-ray release by now. This is a this is the DVD version. And uh, 88 Films came out with the Blu-ray, and I believe there was also a Blu-ray by Troma in the U.S. I could be mistaken, but I, I enjoy the DVD. This is the widescreen version, and um, this is another film that... This is the 20th anniversary special edition. This is another film that doesn't get talked about quite as much as it should, I believe. Um, it's another... It's kind of a creepy, almost like a um, psycho type film where there's a, a guy living alone and he owns a hotel. Is it a hotel or is it a uh, traveling lodge or whatever they're calling it? And uh, the people that come to this, I'm trying to think if it was in fact a hotel or if it was some kind of a, an attraction or whatever, but these people... It's kind of a getaway place, and, and there's a group of people that go there, and he terrorizes them, and one by one they come up missing. And um, Yeah, I, I enjoy this film. I would like to upgrade this to Blu-ray someday, but for now I'm, I'm happy with the widescreen DVD. <clears throat> Another film that's very underrated in my opinion, and I'm not sure if you would consider this horror, although there is some horror elements in this film. It's more of a sci-fi film, but this one is called Cube, and it's... A very low buck operation but it's done very very well and they have made two sequels there was actually a sequel and then the prequel came out 
and um, they're not quite as good as this first one I thought but uh, if you haven't seen cube Chris um, go pick this one up and check it out I think you can get it fairly cheap this is the DVD version again I'm not sure if it has a blu-ray release or not but um, the uh, the DVD looks fantastic and uh, I, I do recommend grabbing this one so pick up cube add it to your collection um, another one that's incredibly underrated in my opinion is uh, Midnight Movie. This one comes with a pretty nice lenticular cover. This is a DVD again. And this is a... It's a good slasher film. I enjoy it. It's This guy comes out of a, a movie. A group of teenagers, uh, younger people, go to a movie theater and they're watching a film and this guy actually comes out, comes out of the screen. I know it sounds silly. But then he starts uh, one by one picking off the patrons that are um, watching the film from in this movie theater. And I, I enjoyed this film, and I watched it a couple times. And This one does have a Blu-ray release. I think it has a standalone, and then it comes in like a twin pack, I think. You can get like two films on one Blu-ray. But um, any way you get this film, I, I would recommend it. It would probably look better on uh, Blu-ray, but I do like this lenticular. So if you're into that kind of stuff, maybe you can probably find this pretty cheap on eBay if you want the lenticular DVD, but you could probably get the Blu-ray for five to ten bucks, I would think. So, yeah, that's, that's this is definitely a good one to, to add. It's underrated. And then finally, um, the last one for this video is uh, Jack Brooks Monster Slayer. And this is also a DVD. And this is kind of a dark comedy. It's a, uh, it's a comedy horror film, and it does have some pretty good gore. You know, some pretty funny one-liners in here. And it almost has a, a feel of like a um, Army of Darkness type type film, and uh, the lead character is pretty funny. And he's a very frustrated guy, and he's he's got a terrible temper. And um, Robert England is all, also in this one. It's a coincidence. I didn't purposely pick this. Was not a Robert England update, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a funny movie, and it's a it's a good horror comedy. So if you haven't seen this one, um, check it out. Pick it up. Uh, I'm sure you can get this one fairly cheap. And I'm not sure if this one has a Blu-ray release either, but I'm pretty happy with the DVD. So I hope these helped you out, Chris. I hope uh, maybe I gave you a couple ideas of some films that maybe you didn't own and um, maybe, you, you know, maybe you're thinking about picking some of these up. But I just want to say thank you for um, having this giveaway again. And um, I think it's very nice of you to do that, to give back to the community and... Uh, you're a great guy, great YouTuber, and I'm going to leave Chris's link down below. For those of you who haven't uh, subbed him yet, um, please do. And go check out his channel. He's a great guy. Make a new friend. And, uh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll close for here. So thanks, Chris, and uh, have a good weekend, man. Take care.